Well, hello everyone. Guess what? Today's show comes from the Outback. In Outback Victoria, we're at the town of Pyramid. And you might be wondering why it's called Pyramid. Guess what? I wondered exactly the same thing. And then I found out there was a natural pyramid here, which looks like one of those Antarctica pyramids, except it isn't covered in ice. It's too big to be built by man. So what's going on? Why does it look like a pyramid? Now, if we just look over here, uh, we're in the middle of nowhere. This is a small town of about 200 people, so we'll probably get some stairs as we walk into town. They don't see a lot of tourists or any tourists, because it's an unknown tourist attraction. Now look over here. Uh, it's a derelict platform, and we could actually see ghosts out of the corners of our eyes about 10 years ago, last time I was here, walking along that platform. It's since caved in and they've put a wire fence around it, but it's just amazing. A huge, natural, pyramid-shaped mountain was discovered in Victoria, Australia in 1836, leaving people puzzled as to what was going on. Pyramid Hill, Victoria, is enigmatic and strange, bizarre and unreal. Melbourne, Victoria's capital, was founded by sheep-owning pastoralists migrating from cold and rainy Tasmania in 1834. By 1836, Major Mitchell reached this area on an expedition, remarking at the natural pyramid found here and wondering at its resemblance to the Egyptian pyramids. Yet this is far larger, more on a par with the Antarctica pyramids, though those are bigger still. A town grew up around this natural landmark, as they also did around several other volcanoes all over Western Victoria. Far too big to have been built by human hands, Pyramid Hill stands as a product of nature, a granite outcrop typical of many in the area. Yet it tantalizes us with its weird shape and surroundings, demanding that we probe deeper into its mysteries. When I first saw this on Google Maps 10 years ago, it looked like a perfect triangular pyramid. So this is, I suppose, the Victorian tumbleweed. This stuff was uh, roll rolling around like that, basically. Uh, up there, this is the side from which it looks like a pyramid. And doesn't that look amazing? This is the pyramid side, or one of the pyramid sides. And it's obviously absolutely enormous, this structure. It's, it's unbelievably huge. With advances in technology, it now appears much less than perfect, but still warrants a visit due to its huge size and therefore similarity with the Antarctica pyramids, but also the Bosnian pyramids. After all, why would a mountain made up of what seems to be loose volcanic stones or something else be shaped like a triangular prism? It's quite a mystery. From some vantages, the pyramid really does look quite perfect. From others, it's far less than perfect and does not look like a pyramid at all, just a rocky hill. Then again, it might have been damaged by the impact of man. It's, it's so bizarre. That's its friend there. Its friend, its neighbor was quarried away into nothing. The pyramid, it does sort of look like the, the hills on Mars. It's, it's kind of weird and a bit strange. There we go. Now we can see the actual contours. So that's one contour there. And I don't know if it's been quarried or damaged. There are numerous caves here, but nothing it seems with any rock art. So, well, it's rather interesting, isn't it? I mean, just a, a place where the Aborigines or whomever could have sheltered, I, I suppose. It's just really nice in here. Oh, there we go. Here we have what appears to be a menhir, and it looks totally artificial to me, at least artificially erected, because it is so much, so different from the hodgepodge of stones you have on the actual mountain. So. And it's standing up. I guess the stone circles of Victoria once had stones like this. I think this one was artificially erected. It is away from the mountain. It is on its own. And it is so weird. This is a menhir. And there are just like three or four of these which surround the hill. They might have been ceremonial. Look what we have here. It is a can to memorialize World War One. But if you just look, just come over here. It's actually got three sides, and they made it exactly look exactly like uh, the pyramid that is in town. 
I came away disappointed. There seems nothing man-made and no archaeology to be seen. The pyramid seems to have been formed in a surprisingly similar way to Ayers Rock, possibly at the same time. This particular rock has also, like Ayers Rock, picked up the stained patina of its surrounding countryside, yellow or orange here, but red up in the Northern Territory. Yet, there seems to be no cave art at all in uh, the places one might expect. Are the Antarctic pyramids just snow-covered granite outcrops then, like this one? What can explain their enormous size? Alternately, here are some huge natural pyramids I snapshotted in Silesia from a moving train, and we really don't know how these came to be or why they look like this. Volcanoes in Victoria seem to be shaped with one mountain on each end of a large or small crater, with Pyramid Hill possibly forming one side of the crater, now no longer seen, with the other mountain nearby having been quarried away long ago, the other side, or, or, or the other side of the crater is a, is a much further mountain. Yet, with a river nearby, surely migrating nomads, worldwide pyramid builders, having sailed across the Pacific, having built stone circles between Darren Elm and Camperdown, as well as a possible palace inside the Camperdown volcano, as shown in a previous video, saw this pyramid and marvelled at some massive construction, no doubt built by ancient giants in their eyes. Surely they themselves lived here and worshipped here, treating Pyramid Hill as an ancient wonder. Under supervision, eh? We'll see about that. How perfect is this? It shows where all the mountains are, so I can just place a latitude, uh, a, a, a latitude solar scale on, on this and we can find out exactly where everything is pointing and that will tell us whether this huge mountain, too big to be built by man, is artificial or not. I mean that's a smaller one over there, that is just a small mountain but there are much bigger ones on the horizon. I don't even have a telephone lens. If I did that mountain over there it would be huge. How about that? And there's more. If this mountain was artificial and millions, millions of years old, like the Antarctic pyramids, then these would be pointing to equinoxes and solstices. So, uh, so for example, let's, let's, let's see this mountain here. We can go all the way up there and, and somewhere there's a pinprick on the horizon there where that mountain is. The sun would be rising up, up there over an equinox or a solstice. And if that was so, that would be absolutely incredible. Well, how good is this? You have this incredible pyramid here. The ones in Antarctica must look exactly the same as this, except they're covered over by ice, and the ice smooths them out. The, the snow falls down and smooths them out. But they must be identical to this, the ones in Antarctica. I mean, this is pyramid shaped. When I saw these rocks, I noticed they're the same type of rock as Ayers Rock, which I just visited. And if you look at this, it's stained red, just the same as Ayers Rock is stained red. It's all cooked together, metamorphic or something. And this must have been formed at the same time as Black Mountain in Queensland, as Ayers Rock, the 250 million year old cataclysm. And this is evidence of the destruction. The geologists say everything is formed gradually. They're wrong. These, everything that's geological is formed in a disaster when everything on the earth went extinct. Look at this. It's the same color as Ayers Rock. It's just been stained. It's the same type of rock. It's amazing. If we if we look up at the, at the top, look at this encrustation. It, it, it's like a, a big geo that's, that's cracked. Uh, lava is broken up. It's just incredible. Again, the formations are almost identical to what you find at Ayers Rock. There is a, an outer layer of loosely formed rock, and then there's a harder layer underneath. Well, it seems we have a rock behind me that looks just like an Easter Island statue from profile. That high rock there next to the other one. And I, I'm not convinced it is, but I just wanted to point it out because it's rather interesting. I mean, why would it look the same? Did they build the Easter Island statues based on natural rock formations? from the place that the Easter Island people came from. One of the weird things about the hill is, as soon as you leave the hill, it's much windier than when you're actually on the hill. We noticed this coming up here, it was really 
extremely windy. And leaving the hill, uh, it's, it's windy again, but on the hill it was rather still for most of the time. Could it be that underground geomagnetic forces surrounding the hill, which have helped to shape the hill and create the hill, have existed, uh, exerted a kind of force bubble around the hill, which is what's resulting in paranormal phenomena around all hills where UFOs are seen, and this is slowing the wind down. You see how windy it is? I'm going to blow away! Woo! Wishing you a happy Christmas from Pyramid Hill, Victoria, to you and all your family. So, we're at a rock, and as you can see, it's all round and amazing, like almost like Archimedes. Unbelievable, it's unbelievable. Yeah.